name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week, we introduce our home audience to different crafts and hobbies that can be enjoyed by the entire family. And today's show is going to be focusing on pets. In particular, a very special pet that everybody could probably have. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to our guest. This is Sarah and Emma. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi, Emma. <laughs> we are excited to be here and talk a lot about walking sticks and oh. a few other pets. And uh, before we do all that, do you want to look into the camera and say, give a shout out to maybe somebody at home? Oh, I want to give a shout out to my preschool class at Serendipity. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emma? Uh, probably my class at South Bay Elementary. Oh, South Bay, I hear that's a great school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Great teachers, great kids. And I want to give a shout out to Catherine. Hi, Catherine. She's the one that uh, resurrected my walking sticks. So I was down to one and a half, and she um, brought back a whole entire colony. So I'm excited to talk about that. <laughs> but before we do, can we talk about pets in general? Uh, are you yes. a family that has pets? Do you like pets? Uh, do you allow them in the house? Yes, we have so many pets, right? What do we have? We have five cats and many, Two many pigs. fish. Mm -hmm. Two guinea pigs. Two guinea pigs. And what else? We had had some mice. Oh, the turtle. We have a turtle as well. So we've got, we've got quite a busy house. So you have a busy house. <laughs> but I've been to their house and it's so clean and it doesn't smell at all. And you'd think what a lot of cats and guinea pigs at might. And you know, that's the thing. So many pets, oh, we spend so many hours a week taking care of them and it is a lot of work. A it's lot a lot of work, of work but so. pets teach responsibility. I think they that's do. one of the greatest reasons yep. to have that as responsibility and of course caring and mm -hmm. you know. So you brought a special pet though that is, um, Easier to take care of than maybe a cat, a guinea pig, is it? Yes, is and it? it's an easier commitment too. It's You don't have to buy the food and all of those oh. fancy things and fish filters and all of those things. They just eat English ivy, which grows pretty much everywhere around here. Okay, and, and the really pet you're find. talking about is called a? Walking stick, a or walking some people stick. call it a stick bug. Or stick Either bug. way, yep, and this particular kind is an Indian walking stick. Oh, they are. These yes. are from India. Mm -hmm. Didn't yep. know that. So, if we walked out our door, we're not going to find walking sticks in our uh, natural environment. No, you know, in America there are a few different types, but not here in Washington. They're in the warmer areas. Okay. So, so can we get right to it and take one out? Can let's we actually do it. put it out? Yep. And hopefully, one of our cameramen. And they're in here, this entire, how big would you say this is? Like, Oh gosh, I think it's by... like a one gallon type oh, one size. Gallon. Okay. Yeah. And you know, the rule of thumb with them is that the space should be about three times the length of an adult. Didn't and know that. Yeah, and the adult stick bugs get about this big. So okay. you want to have enough space for them to move around. So this is one of my smaller containers, but it was great for being mobile and bringing it today. Oh yeah, it's so yeah. easy and you could put it on a little shelf and yep. watch them grow. How, how big are they when they so start I'll out? So I'll show you one of, yeah, so we've got a couple different ones. The babies are just these teeny tiny little things and right, they're just, they're hard to even see sometimes. Um, and I'll show you one of the smaller ones we've got here. We've got a couple big guys and then a couple smaller oh, ones too. So right now they've got their focus great. Bob Hoyt's got the camera right on that cage. Oh, okay, there's a couple inside. guys hanging out here. Now, why is he on the top? Do they like to hang on the top? They do, and they actually need some sort of material like that to hang on to because they molt five or six times before they're a full-grown adult. So oh. they have to have some sort of netting like that to attach oh, to. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So can we, can we, I'm, I bet Bob would get a close-up. Are, are we gonna look for a little one or a big one? Well, right well I think we should take a big guy out. And I think, do you wanna hold it? This guy? 
are pretty silly. It, do so, they, if they are frightened, do they pull in their legs? Um, no, actually, one of the silly things they do, they curl their oh, tail. Smash, not smash. No, they're good. <laughs> okay. They curl up their tail to look like a scorpion, actually. It's, <laughs> it's one of their camouflage things that oh, they isn't do. That Funny. It's pretty smart, actually. There are a lot of camouflaging things going on here. Uh -huh. So if you, um, oh, he's gonna, he's a wiggle guy. <laughs> Got him? Oh, he's gonna, you're not gonna be able to see there him on we that go. shirt. Okay. Okay, now hold them still so the camera can there get them. There we go, they're so neat. So the older ones get that red marking on the inside of their legs. That's what happens, almost like how oh, people get gray you ready hair. ready to take him from me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, camera's off us. There we go. They're just so fun, and you know, they're a they're like I said, they're a quiet pet, and um, and they're easy. They just need a little spray of water once a day. They live in tropical areas, so they're used to that um, humid environment. Do they bite? They don't. They don't bite or sting, and they're really um, a safe pet to have because you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So if you go away so, on a vacation, how long could you maybe leave them? They're usually good about up to five days. That's a good shot. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> He's Tom. dancing. So the reason that they do that is to camouflage like they are a leaf in the wind, blowing in the wind. Like they what? Like they're a leaf, like a okay. um, it okay. blowing stick in the wind. To me. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like a stick so, and a leaf. And so you said if they're frightened, they'll roll up their tail like a scorpion. So yes. he's not frightened at all now. So if I touch one of these guys, they might start to do that a little bit, if they're a shy one. I don't know if the, nope, camera can, the camera can't see down there. I don't. It's <laughs> They're not doing it right oh, now. One's darn, but may yeah, I tell so, you a funny story, though? Yes. I used to have, for many years, I had um, walking sticks. I worked at a different school. And one time we'd come back from spring break, and I had been talking to a group of first graders, and all of a sudden one of them looks up and says, What's that on the ceiling, Miss Miller? We were at Pleasant Glade. The whole entire, all of them had escaped, and they all ran to the <laughs> roof of the yes. library. And oh, they were man. hanging. They were hanging. Yes. From the the poor custodian had to go up and rescue oh, no. all the walking sticks. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my oh that's gosh. a great shot. You know what? I bet our director guys. froze that. Cut and him you know, on. another silly Very thing. Good. Thanks. So, if you put a plant next to their terrarium, mm -hmm. when they get out, they will almost always go and sit on that plant. So, if they oh. escape or somehow get left out of the um, container, so they they're will easy usually to go find there. Them if they yeah. get out. Yeah. But it would destroy a plant. It could, yeah. Are any of the plants poisonous to them? Well, I, you know, I just read something today. Um, you can offer all kinds of things, and they know what is poisonous to them. So they won't. Yeah. Unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? But what are the foods they definitely prefer? I see you brought one. Yep, English ivy. And then I, I've heard a lot of different things. I've tried salal and had a little bit of oh. luck with that. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people say blackberry yeah, bushes or raspberry bushes. Um, and for some reason, they I haven't had luck with that. But maybe we just don't have tasty raspberries around here or something. And so you <laughs> Just put, the, how often do you put fresh leaves in there? I'd say every couple days. We kind of sift through and take out the dead leaves and clean it out. And Emma helps me double check and make sure we're not accidentally throwing any yeah. away because. Have you ever thrown out some accidentally? Probably. We, oh. Yeah, probably. Well, they're hard but to see and they, they are. are so so well. that's why we usually take a couple of us to really look it over. So they are not native to this area, so it's very important that they don't get um, outside. Get they outside. Would die. Yeah, they would die anyways, but they're just, this particular kind is not native to here, so. Yeah, and, yeah. and so if, if you were to travel, if I were to leave for a week or something, they would be okay, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. yeah. They're just, they're really easy pets. And you know, especially for a family just starting with pets, it's mm -hmm. a great way to go because they're, they're just easy. They don't have to, you don't have to clean out the litter box mm -hmm. and walk the And you the don't dog. have to pay for food. Yeah, right, exactly. And they teach responsibility. Yep, yep. So it's and they get, just... And the kids get to observe um, 
uh, habitat too, which is so yes. important. Yes, and you know, in my preschool class, the kids do observations throughout the year to compare how they're growing from these itty bitty guys all the way to the the full size ones. So and a little bit of math. Yeah, even, and almost. it's really fun to get their take on it too. Uh -huh. They get very excited. About and it. you um, use these with preschoolers? We do. They're yeah. not. They don't scare them. No, nope. you know, most of them are excited about it. There's a few, they, you know, they either seem to love them or don't want anything to do with oh, them. Oh, I see. Is it a fragile pet? You know, yes and no. They're, they're pretty hardy. The one thing that you have to be careful with is their legs. So they have um, just really fragile legs. If they get caught on anything like the netting, they can actually fall off. But what's great is that they regrow legs. Seriously? They just grow back. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know any insect. Of course, this is an insect, by the way. There Six you know. legs, yep. Which is funny because you don't usually hear about keeping insects for a pet. No, you, know? you don't, not often. <laughs> Except for ladybugs, maybe. <laughs> really? People have ladybugs? Well, maybe. Sometimes. You can, you can get um, ladybug terrariums or oh, sets, yeah, you know, I things like so. that. Yeah. Oh, that would be a fun thing maybe to have. So, um, and then spray them with water yep, every day. Yep, spray them with water. And I've got a water, just a regular, you know, cheap store water bottle. Um, okay. And they just get a little spritz every day. And so, Speaking of it. stores, can I just go to the store and buy a walking stick? How do I get them? You know, I've never seen them in a store. Um, mostly where I've gotten them is just my family or, you know, I've kind of passed them along to friends, things like that. So just sort of a word of mouth. Word kind of, of mouth, thing. yeah. yeah. They, they couldn't sell them for much, probably. Probably <laughs> yeah. not. I don't know. It's yes. not enough to interest <laughs> a store, baby. Yeah. I don't know. Plus, people might, do people don't buy them and sell and feed them to other animals, I hope. I don't know. I hope not. I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> let's not, even, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even go there. So, yes. um, what, is, what is this? You brought this container. I don't understand. What is yes. this? Yes. Do you want to tell her about what that is? These are stick bug eggs. Oh, that's what the eggs look yeah. like. Oh, and then how many eggs do they produce? So each stick bug lays hundreds of them <gasps> in its lifetime. Um, they live about a year, give or take a little bit. Um, being in captivity, they live a little bit longer. But yes. Um, yes, they lay hundreds of them. And the males, or I'm sorry, the females don't actually need the males in order to lay eggs. Oh, you're kidding. So, but there are male and female stick bugs. Right, yep. But the females just lay the eggs and that's you it. You got it, exactly. Oh my, but that's kind yeah. of scary though because then you could have it one is. female and you could end up in a year's time. That yes. would be amazing how many They just keep going. And you know, they're just so well, the eggs are so camouflaged on the dirt that a lot of times you can't even hardly see them. Uh, so even cleaning it out can be hard to well, uh, I have sift a friend through. that would put cabbage leaves on the bottom of her so she could see the eggs. Oh, I see. Yeah, she would line the bottom with cabbage leaves, then she could see the eggs, and then so that you don't end up with too many. Yep. Which mm -hmm. you can see, that that's the only problem with walking sticks. Yep, you can start exactly. with one and end up with a hundred in no they time. They just and keep just, going. Yeah. Yep. And so, that's when people release them outside, even though we shouldn't oh, do that. That's when it happens. Oh, is no, when they don't ever release any yeah. outside, even a walking stick. But then, can you throw these away? What do you do with the eggs? Well, if you toss them in the garbage, they're still going to hatch somewhere. They Ugh. do take six to 12 months to hatch. And oh. so during that time, I think a lot of people just kind of throw them away or do whatever, but they're still active. They're still growing in Seriously. there. Even though they don't look like it, they're just these little dots, but they still so are growing. So in a landfill, if you throw them in the garbage and they end up in a landfill, they're not going to hatch in the bottom of the landfill. Well, they could, you know, and the big problem is just if they get you know, into a community with all these plants and everything, they'll just start munching away. If your away. neighbor's flowers are disappearing, then you know you're exactly. walking. Exactly. Yes. And you didn't know it. So, um, so then what do you do with the eggs? You, you don't know, throw them out? Can you, you flush don't. them down the toilet? I, I am still searching for the right answer for that. Okay. I just, I let all of them hatch because I don't have you the heart do. to do anything. That's so cute. I just, that's why I have hundreds and hundreds. That's so cute. <laughs> 
So, um, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I just all right. Them. So you don't. Fr I thought somebody told me once you could freeze those eggs, but not a good idea. You know, I had heard one time that that is correct, but the more research I do, it sounds like that that might not kill them. So. Oh. It's sort of, it's still a mystery. Interesting. And yes. originally, aren't they from rainforests and they help keep the foliage? Exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. They're from really jungly areas, the Amazon, just really warm, humid places, <laughs> tropical. Yeah. So now so. you, we only have 15 minutes left, and you brought yes. some things over there. Can you tell me what's yeah, going so on? Yeah, so I thought it would be fun because <coughs> I have so Excuse many, me. I'm always needing to make more new habitats. I figured we could just go ahead and do one here today. May I move this? Yes, absolutely. Let's right. do it. So and those guys are sure hanging on. To they that. are, and that's similar they to how they haven't gone forward or back. Nope, and that's how they would sit on a plant if you put it next to it, like I was. Oh, and the, oh, I yep. see the rocking motion you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's just, the wind. It's supposed to make them look like that. Come on. Exactly. Buddy. Yep. Well, we never did show the smallest one, did we? Oh, we didn't. Remember we started. There yet? is one in there, a little bit smaller. This one right here, I would call it like a. A teenage that's size. Small. This guy's teenage. probably a couple months old here. And wow. actually, you can see he has a leg that's working on growing back right now. And look at that. He walked right onto that stick. Yep. He's probably it's happy so to cool. be there. He probably smells the. Oh, if, if you could see in here, they're basically hanging upside down. Yeah. Do you want me to put He's him dancing. away? He's dancing. Sure, yeah. And then we can get started here with this. So this is just another, I think this may be the same size, a one gallon container. And for the bottom, it can be a lot of different things. It could just be sand or dirt, um, anything, you know, preferably without fertilizer in it, things like that. So this is just some regular dirt. Do you want to put some dirt in the bottom of it there? Use the scooper. So a lot of people like to do, like your friend did the cabbage, like a lighter color bottom, because then you can really see um, when the eggs hatch, you can see that. Yeah, how would you, you know, see that on eggs there. on the so, dirt? But you do, you pick these yeah, off the dirt. Yeah, and you know, it just, oh, when I first work. had them, I couldn't really um, see the eggs, but since I've had them for a few years now, I can sort of pick through and really start okay. to see them. Do they so. have to have the dirt? What if I just put newspaper? They on don't. That? Nope, that's totally fine. And you know, some people just do wet paper towels because it's easy to change that way too. Oh, you can just so toss there's different them. things you can put at the bottom. Yeah. But if you're creating a natural habitat, right? Dirt would be. Yeah, and they, um, from what I've read, they they live in sort of more of a sandy environment. All right, this is looking good. They live in a sandy environment? Yeah, a little more sandy. You know, here in Washington, and especially Thurston County, we have rocks everywhere, you know, right. just dirt and rocks. But um, there, it's a little bit more of a sandy mixture rather uh -huh. than rocky. Is this All right. just potting soil, by the way? It is. Okay. And to be totally honest, this actually has fertilizer in it. So when I go oh. home, oh. I'm not actually going to use this. I'm going to dump it out and start over. Yeah. So Seems like fertilizer anyways. wouldn't be good. No, not good. So um, they love crawling on sticks. Obviously, they're walking sticks. So um, I usually like to go and search for some cool sticks that would be good to put in here for them just to hang out on. Once you get a lot of ivy in here, they um, they really will just take the time and sit on those rather than the sticks. Yeah, they seem to be Once hanging it, out on the sticks. Yeah. Right. So it's sort of... But they no. must, oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, you're fine. This isn't going to be the most elaborate home ever, but you kind of get the idea. Um, the top fort is actually screened from, like, from a screen door or a window. All right. Um, because it's small enough to where the babies can't escape out of it. Oh, that would be awful. Yes. And, you know, some of the containers, the lid that comes on them, um, it, they look small enough that they oh, can't get out, but they, but they can. can. Escape, the babies and you don't can. Want to run around your house, oh, yeah. eating all your house plants. Exactly. So, yep, you, you just put the lid right on here, and I just use a rubber band to keep it on there. Well, that's one. Keep it fixed on big there. Big rubber band. It is. It is. And actually, I need to find out where to buy them because I've just kind of found them in all kinds of different places, okay, you know, I'll in the cupboard or whatever, open. and maybe one of the hobby shops around yeah, or be something it's like that. that. Yeah, that's it. 
All right. And you have these at your preschool. Yep, we have them there. And um, I used to have quite a few, but we've had to downsize a little bit because yeah. they, they just keep going. And the way you, you downsize is by getting rid of the eggs, but you said so far you haven't. And that's why I have so many <laughs> stick bugs, because I can't get rid of them. That's my problem. Yeah. So, yeah. So. And then, if, you know, just a little spritz. They can go, like I said, like five days without even having water. They're just so easy going. And this is just tap water. It's nothing fancy. I thought that maybe there's a little crack there. And then to review, they eat, um, you said blackberry, raspberry, or... Mm -hmm. Um, English ivy. Uh, English ivy. Yeah. And that they won't. If you just tuned in earlier, uh, um, Sarah said that, that if, if you put something in there that they won't eat, they won't eat it. Yeah, so you know, would and they die? What would happen? They just won't eat it if they they somehow know. And you know, that's been part of the fun part with my preschool classes that we'll try all different kinds of things, putting them in there and mm -hmm. see if they avoid it or get close to it or if they end up munching oh, on I it. See. So we've tried a lot of fruits and vegetables, and they always just come back to the English ivy. So if anybody else finds out what else they eat please let me know please contact i would like Sarah. to be able yeah. to uh, feed them different things but yeah i believe they just that your love contact that. information i think is on there yes i believe i think it'll be on the end yeah <laughs> yeah and now yes. how long do these live in captivity i've had them live as as long as 24 months um oh, and I, I i've heard a lot of different Are you ranges sure it was the same one I think so. I didn't know one from the They're, other. Well, I've had a lot of different size containers, uh -huh. and when I have smaller ones, it's easier to, to keep track okay. of that. But right. yeah, and you know, I've um, in the wild even, I've heard that there's some that can live as much as three years. Wow. Um, and you know, in that slideshow we'll be showing at the end, you'll see some of them can be huge. Okay. Huge. Are there different varieties of walking sticks? There stamps, are, or? and actually there's almost 3,000 different types. 3,000 3, different types? Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow, and they yep. come camouflage. They just are one of the most amazing. Yeah, they camouflage. do. And something I noticed is that the more brown branches they're around, the browner that they'll be. And oh, then, really? of course, Their the more leaves. Change. Yeah, which okay. I hadn't realized until more recently, just watching them closely. And you said on the air, you said a little while ago that they're a very quiet pet, but what did you they tell me before are. the show okay. started? What did so, you say? So, you know, one of the benefits is that they're a quiet pet, but but if the whole house is quiet, they are nocturnal, and at night, if it's quiet, you can actually hear them eating and munching. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's almost creepy. It, should, it is a I little have bit. I repeat that. You know, Shut if you up. love what? bugs, it's not creepy. It's cute. But if, if you're not a bug person, that no, would not be good to hear. you must have amazing ears, because I don't think I hear that. <laughs> I, I yes. can't imagine, because their mouths must be small. I don't even see a mouth. They are. They're so small. Can you see their body parts? I mean, you, you know, see a mouse I'm the bigger and ones. They're easier to see. You can see but, their eyes. And... You know, it's their mouth is really interesting because it has four parts, four mandibles that um, work together to munch the leaves and get it into their mouth. You see an eye? What, oh, it has antenna. Of course, it has six yep, legs. Yep, two antennas. It's an insect. And if and you look closely, antenna. you can see the eyes on, on that big guy there. They're sure trusting little guys. They are. I mean, boy, yeah. if I were that frail, ah, <laughs> if I were that frail, I don't think I'd want somebody touching me. He's sticky all of a sudden. You know, I, they're... Are his their legs are really sticky, and that's part of why they lose their legs. If they are on here and you're not real careful picking them up, that's how they can lose a leg. Oh, it's getting I can it caught see on there. How, yeah. Yeah. Or you on clothing, if you're if you holding. Pull, if you pull them off, there you go. There you go, honey. Right. There you go. There's and on, on this TV. guy, you can <laughs> see the red color, oh. and that shows that he's older. So red color on him? Yeah, As right older, on the inside of, of his front legs there. It's yeah. like how people get gray hair. He gets uh, that oh, red. Oh, seriously? Yeah. He doesn't turn gray. No, no, well, turns red. Well, you know what? We only have five more minutes. And, and Emma Gosh, that came to fast. the yeah. library and gave up her recess to because um, she was in trouble. No, no, not really. Because she wanted to make a slideshow. So thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. And um, can we, oh, there's a cool picture. 
Yeah, there we go. That is, is that's not him, is it? Was that him? I don't know. <laughs> so this is our slideshow made at South Bay Elementary by Emma during her lunch recess. Do you want to talk about, why did we pick this picture, Emma? Do you remember? Because it shows, because <clears throat> it shows how, one of the sizes that they can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So these right here could get to be that big. Yes. As we, and what did this say <laughs> fake to me? I, I, I know it looks like it. So in the USA, they do not get this big, but in places where they're native to, like the Amazon, they just continue to grow as they get older and they really can be, um, what was it, 18 inches, I think um, we had read. They just grow and grow. 18 inches is pretty good size. Huge. There's a baby. So that one is, a, I'd say, probably a couple of weeks old. Um, just so skinny, those little legs. Um, and they just start out teeny tiny like that, just like an adult, but smaller. Very tiny, very frail. When you look at that, you can see mm -hmm. how, yeah. So, so you shouldn't really pull them off, right? Because they're right. sticking. Yep, and exactly. And that can rip their legs off. Yeah. So what are we looking at now? So I love this picture because you can see the parts of the mouth. You can. Eating, yeah. You see the parts. Emma, why did you pick that picture? Do you remember? Uh, well, it shows some of their food. And yes, you can see the mouth and the head and the eyes and different parts of their head. Yeah, and it definitely shows what they eat. That's not Salal. That's English ivy, right? Mm -hmm. I okay. can't tell. Yeah, maybe that yeah. is. There we go. Is that why you picked that, Emma? Yeah, it's English Ivy, what they eat. Yeah, because okay. she researched and did all these pictures herself. Yep. Tell her mm -hmm. school librarian came in and I added a few at the end. <laughs> <laughs> he might not be happy with me. <laughs> so that's what English Ivy is, in case you don't know. Yeah. So tell me about this. What's this? This is stick bug eggs. And yeah. is, do you know what kind of stick bug that is? Do you remember? That's the Indian stick bug. That's the kind that we have here oh, in the Oh, these containers. are all Indian stick bugs? These ones oh. all are, yep. Thank you. So that's the type we have. Yeah. She looks like she's very proud of her eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. They can, they can lay hundreds of eggs. Hundreds each. of eggs, oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> Now, I think that's one of the ones I snuck in there, just because <laughs> I thought it was pretty, and I don't know if that's yeah. a stick bug or a variation. How many varieties of, of stick bugs are you 3,000. I thought you yeah. said, so this is possibly a type. If you know what type it is, feel free to notify us. But, uh, and this one? Yep, that's another type. And you know, just from all different kinds of environments that they're in, they're just, um, they grow to camouflage whatever they're in. Isn't that amazing? They're yeah. great camouflagers. Yeah. And that is a praying mantis. Now, are praying mantis related to stick bugs? I don't believe they are, but I don't I don't know for sure. But aren't praying mantis are they, don't they eat meat? I mean not they meat, do. meat. But they eat other bugs. Bugs, and they eat. yes. And that's the difference. These guys are um, they only eat the leaves. Yeah, they eat leaves. So yeah. So, okay, we're down to one minute, and I think we've got maybe one more slide. And do we know what this is? I don't. It's kind of a mystery bug. I, I you know, I've seen pictures of this bug, but I, I can't remember the name of it. It at must all. be a type of walking stick. But it does show you how some of these insects can just camouflage mm -hmm. so well. If he were to pull in his legs, uh, that guy would look like a leaf. Absolutely. Now, now how come he's? How come our little guy here in the studios? He's not going anywhere. And Why you know, doesn't he just run that's off? That's part of their camouflage. Sticks don't move. Oh. They so you really don't have to worry sit. about them running around your house you too much. You don't. And you know, the one thing, ugh, we're almost out of time, but when you throw away dead stick bugs, you have to make sure that they're totally dead because they'll sit still for as many oh, as three days in a row. You're so sweet that you care so much about them <laughs> that you don't want to actually pull them that. out. <laughs> yeah, he is quite, so that's part of the camouflage. Yep. He just holds still. Sitting still. And then you told me about him wiggling. What yeah, when they wiggle, um, it's like they're dancing, but um, to look like leaves in the wind. Well, I want to thank you for coming. It's time to go. Thanks for having do us. A Yes. So thank you, Sarah, for sharing all your knowledge about this wonderful little pet. And thank you, Emma, for thank introducing you. me to your mom yeah. and, and the slideshow and everything. 
Bye. Join us again. We're on every Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. Bye. Thanks to a wonderful crew.